And first tonight at 11, a Jacksonville mother is crying out for help tonight. She says her eight year old son witnessed his own father being murdered. And ever since then, he's been traumatized. And she says she's tried to get help from the city of mm -hmm. Jacksonville from victim services, but she's had no luck. First Coast News Brittany Dion is on your side tonight with this story. Brittany. Kiata Willis is a mother of four. Last year, her oldest son witnessed his father die a violent death, and he hasn't been the same since. Willis says she called victim services every day for two weeks, but she couldn't get the help her son needs because she doesn't have a car. Kiana Willis keeps her son Prince Mitchell Jr. close. Now he's a lot more quiet, sometimes a lot more angry. Just four months ago, the eight year old watched his father die. He said he heard a, a gunshot and when he ran outside, he saw his dad laying on the front porch. This man, Prince Terrell Mitchell, was arrested and charged with the murder of Prince Tyrell Mitchell. He is the victim's twin brother. After the funeral, um, he started sleeping the same way he seen his dad laying in the casket. And um, wet in the bed and following me around the house. He, he doesn't really go anywhere unless he's walking behind me. I'm sure that's hard for you as a mom. It's, it's really hard to see him go through this is really heartbreaking for me. Willis says her efforts to get her son help through a taxpayer funded program through the city called Victim Services has been tough. I just kept contacting him for like the past two weeks after and I just never heard from anyone. She says she doesn't have transportation. So her pleas for help fell by the wayside. I really felt like no one really cared about what my son went through. And I know, I guess I really just want to feel like somebody cares. I want to feel like that my son is going to be okay, that somebody cared enough to make sure that he's going to be okay. Well, Willis says her son is now getting counseling at school through the Duval County Public School System, but she's not sure it's enough as she hasn't seen an improvement in his behavior. I've reached out to the city to find out what happened with Willis's case and if victim services is somehow overwhelmed by requests for help due to the volume of crime in Jacksonville. I'm still waiting to hear back in the information center tonight. I'm Brittany Dion, First Coast News on your side. Oh, Brittany, all right, thank you.